YouTube and welcome back to Try Attack Gaming, our Fire Red Nuzlocke Challenge. In the last episode, we took on most of these trainers, that's basically all we did. Um, so this time we're just going to finish off around here and we're going to make our way towards... Rock Tunnel? Rock Tunnel? I can't remember what it's called. A tunnel. One of the two. I think it's Rock Tunnel in this gen. First and foremost, let's have a look at our team. Just a quick recap, mainly for myself. So we currently have Pop-Tart, level 19. We got Dank, level 24. Gex 2.0, level 24 as well. Tom, Dick and Harry, level 29. Chiding is I just start, to be honest, it's just our HM slave. Just gonna have Cut, Fly, all that shebang. And then last but not least, Pekka, who is burnt. We do need to probably heal her up. But we've only got maybe two or three trainers, so there's not much point in doing that at the moment. Did we take you on? Yes, we took you on. So, we don't really want to fight a wild Pokemon, but we'll do it anyway. We'll do it anyway. Fucking Spearow. Fucking Spearow. Payday. Get some money out of this bitch. Bludging it to death with some coins. Yeah. Get it to take its clothes off. Da 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 it's enough of that. On oh, that box, yeah. <laughs> no more stripper music. Yeah. Yet. Yet. Tonight is still. Tune there. in next time! Tune in next week. <laughs> well, Dank will be, I mean. <laughs> earning his money. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a high on drugs, he has no idea what's going on. You can exploit the shit out of him. Yeah, bless him. He's high off his own fumes. Do we have any other female Pokemon that can strip? Uh, Pekka. But I running mean, nice <laughs> She can <laughs> she can just defeather herself. Ugh, defeathered birds are gross. Roost. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Topic for today. Oh god. What is the most disgusting Pokemon in your in your opinion? The so you probably say Mr. Mime because of its creepiness. I mean it's a, it's a blatant pedophile. That's pretty gross. <laughs> I mean, when you say blatant, it could be just a child's entertainer. That's just the front. That's its cover. <laughs> yeah. All clowns are closet pedophiles. I mean, <sighs> that's a that's a we, bold we, statement. We we cannot endo we do not endorse Simon's <laughs> opinions on this show. No. We not, however, a third of this show is Simon's opinions. So <laughs> yeah, it's stuck on me. Oh dear. And Interesting question though, with the disgusting Pokemon. Yeah. I mean, obviously you've got contenders in Grimer and Muck. They're literally just like they're they're literally just top it slime. But um, yeah, I think I, I would have to say a lowland Muck, just because Muck is disgusting because he's like. Just pure pollution. All right, he helps to clear up pollution, which is which is nice. It's a good thing. But imagine Rainbow Muck. Rainbow Muck is like what? he has shards. His teeth are made out of like crystals. What kind of pollution is he even sweeping up to have all those? Colors? Yeah, I don't know. Lots of danks. Just but those like little crystal things. Apparently, if if you break one open, I think this is right. It will. It's made of toxic waste, so it will just stink to high heaven. And that just, I just don't like the thought of that. That's uh, So I, I would have to throw it out and say I'm a lone muck, personally. I mean, like, the obvious answer would be Garbodor. Yeah. Because it's a literal pile of shit. It's literal garbage. It's a literal pile of shit. Like... No, I feel we can do better. We yeah. Still the obvious answer. Well, this is really gross. It's kind of... Yes. You look at him and you go, ugh. I mean... I like the poison types, don't get much justice here. There's yeah. there's, there's an argument for Licky Licky. Oh, oh Phil! Just wants to lick stuff. Oh, oh, oh. Fucking, what a retard. He's got to mentally retarded, hasn't he? It's, well, there's got to be something wrong yeah, with him. Yeah, just go around licking everything you see. I mean, he's got like a ten foot tongue. Of course maybe there's maybe wrong. he's, like, I wouldn't say he's retarded. I don't I don't think that's a nice, nice word to use, but I do think that he is. He maybe have a fetish. 
May- it may- might be, maybe that's worse. he's got a fetish for. That's, I could forgive, like, if there was something mentally wrong with okay, fine, it's not his fault. But if he has a fetish for licking everything he sees. Mate, he, he loves licking them toes. <laughs> he licks Drowsy's toes. Have you seen Drowsy's toes? Oh, they are. They, they. It's like he's he's dipped himself in chocolate, oh. been licked from the waist up, <laughs> and then just his toes have been licked oh. as well. Those are the only yellow bits on him. Like oh. legit. Like Drowsy. Drowsy has a fetish for his toes being licked. Right. <laughs> and that goes all that my one. sleep for the rest of my life. Yeah. <laughs> and you said I was bad. But, <laughs> That, I mean, I, I, that's not me. That's someone else who who, who tends to say that quite a lot. Shout oh, out to King Nappy, yeah. but it is just like you can see what he means because it's the evidence is sort of there. Ah, oh. <laughs> but I feel like Hypno could do some dark stuff. I mean, I mean, date hip- rapists. Hip- <laughs> Hypno and Drowsy both did do take children away like they are, they are pretty in disgusting the, in this game don't you go to the, the island and there's a little girl trapped in the woods with a hitner you have yeah. to rescue her from it yeah that's fucked up yeah that's fucked it's up pretty sick this was released in the 90s though right? no no this was released in 2004 yeah this one oh the original the 90s yeah. but this in, it was only in this remake when they introduced that oh really I think this is the girl who offers you yeah need a run male for need a run female here we go so we know where it is now. Yeah. If we ever get a need around. I mean, it's, it depends on who we want, Elvis or Lizzie. Go Elvis. I mean, I, I'd have to he say He is Elvis. the king. He it's is the king. the king. Then Lizzie is the queen. You can't have both. Well, you could. Probably. I mean, you, you tend to have both. There's normally a king and queen. But, but we can't catch duplicates, can we? So we can't catch a no. king. Let's catch a second one on top of a queen, can we? No. It's Luigi. <laughs> I can't even see that now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Luigi. <laughs> Let's a go. Let's a go. Right. Let's get rid of these. Do we need any more cash? Yes. We, we need all that money. All, all the, the dollar. dollar. All Just the dollar. Break dollar. the economy by having all the money. <laughs> and then we'll rule Could you imagine if, 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 if everywhere, more. like? Another thing, like we were saying the other week, the Pokemon world is, is like an awful place to live. You would get like destroyed. But could you imagine the financial ramifications of Meowths just throwing coins everywhere? <laughs> like... Where do they come from? Uh, fountains would be overflowing with just coins. The wells Money would be wouldn't, blocked. It, like, like, it, it wouldn't have meaning. No. It I mean, be, are they pure gold, those coins? Well, I mean, you can sell them. Because you can use them as money. Because that much gold would just it would just decrease the value of gold. Well, and whether they're gold, I think they're like. You ever watch Goldfinger, that old James Bond film? A uh, long, long time. Ago. The villain's whole plan is he's going to drop a nuke in fucking Fort Knox, irradiate the world supply of gold. There it is. Well, not the world supply, but they make sure you can't go near it for hundreds mm-hmm. of years. But the value of his gold skyrockets. Yeah. That was the smartest villain I've ever seen. Yeah. That guy takes the cake for clever ass villains. That is like, because most of them are just like, I want to do this and destroy the world. But I, I, it's got to be said, like James Bond villains do tend to have that motive nailed. Like they're mm. they're not like silly. I just want to get revenge on my dead father. Mm. They want to do something that's going to benefit them. Yeah, they're all... But in a way that's not completely and utterly destructive. Like obviously they're going to do something destructive to get there, but once they're there, they're just kind of like, yeah, well, I just want to have a lot of money. Yeah, they're all like, just back trying to get rich. Yeah, well, and most of them are. It kind of works. Like it, it makes sense. Like you see all these other villains where it's just like, I want to take over the world. Yeah. Whereas James Bond villains, they're actually like, yeah, I just, I kind of want to do. I'm not saying it's for all of them. I haven't watched all the films, but. Like the m- most recent ones, they do want to have some sort of power over the world, but not in the extent that these over-animated villains do. Yeah. Like, Can you imagine the logistical nightmare of ruling the fucking world? Yeah. It would Ooh, be a pain that. in the arse. You would want that. You would not get a wink of sleep. Ever. Like, you'd, yeah. you'd be awake every single day and every single night. You have to deal with every problem on the planet yeah. that's 
globe political. You'd have to deal with the whole Israel shit by yourself. Yeah. On top of the whole, like, Tibet shit, North Korea shit. But then at the same time, if you ruled the world, that shit wouldn't exist. I'm sure it would. Uh, we just picked up air relays, by the way. Yeah, it's great. We should, we, should, oh, um, we should maybe. Oh! oh I'm quick attacking. Let's get him rid get of you. the hell out of here! I have a feeling his next Pokemon's going to be a. Uh... I was going to say GOD, but apparently it's not. Uh, Dank, save us. Dank, save us all, please. Put to sleep. Flip it and suck um... it dry. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I thought Absorb was underneath. I didn't want to acid. Oh, oh God, now it's high! <laughs> <laughs> it's seeing things, man. It's tripping out. It's high as it a kite. It thinks you're a mushroom. Just getting real, man. I don't know whether I've said this before. I feel like I have. So apologies if I'm repeating myself. But Onyx has the exact same attack stat as Oddish. <laughs> That's hilarious. The fusion between them is funny with Oddish. Oh, it's Oddish. great. <laughs> Still, Chandelier no, no, no. Machamp is the creepiest thing in the world. Yeah, that's, that's pretty. I've seen a few. Gross. Yeah. In the comments right. then, favourite Pokemon fusion. There we go. And funny ones. As well as, well as the Imagine worst. Like, <laughs> Farfetch and a magic grass. <laughs> I think we just found the answers to the grossest Pokemon question. Yeah. yeah. In Pokemon fusions. Done. Just None of that. Have you, have you seen the um, Golbat Onyx one? No. That's quite scary. Anything with Onyx just seems to be really, really weird. Onyx on his own is fine. When yeah. you start minting that shit, suddenly you get nightmares. If you do, I think it was Geodude and Jigglypuff. That's quite funny because it's just it just looks like Jiggly a grumpy grey Jigglypuff. It's just like... <laughs> <laughs> it's really quite good. But um, let's give Aerial Ace to Pekka. Should we get rid of Gust or yeah, we'll get rid of Tackle? It. We don't need it. It's only four. We have a release. Yeah, true. But Tackle's 35. To be fair, we'll quick attack about Tackle. You never know when you'll need normal. We don't need Tackle or Sand Attack. Get rid of Air. See, Sand Attack does have some value. If we are in that sticky situation, we can just Sand Attack. Yeah. And just hope that that will work. But Or Mud Slap as yeah. Tom Nicanary. I mean, Secret Power. I didn't even know we had that. Yeah, yeah didn't Pop Tart pick it up. No, that was him, Pat. Pop Tart could learn it. I mean, he picked it up. He has stab. Do it. Throw a scratch. Turn around for a bit. Secret power would be really good, though, because, like, payday is a good move for making money. Yeah. Bite is special, so it's not particularly great, but secret power is, has got that decent level of. Is it base 70? Yeah. So when you add in to stab, that's base 105. So, it's pretty good. Do we want to teach anyone else anything in particular? Right. Mm, not yet. I'm going to wait for a fighting type team and brick break. Wait for a water type team and water pulse. Wait for an electric type team and drop wave. Hidden power could be a good one to use, because if pop Tart can essentially pick that up, like, at any point, it might be useful just to get a little bit of coverage, maybe on Tom, Dick and Harry. Like, because it is a normal type, so it's going to be physical, and he's got three ground type moves at the moment. Fair enough. Hidden power has changed. Well, it changes type based yeah. on their stats, so it'd be useful to just find out what it is, but I say get rid of sand. Yeah, we're going to use that. No. no. It's good for residual damage, but. You know, I feel like just having something that's just going to hit is going to be a much, much more beneficial to us at this point in time. So we're good for everything else, like shockwave we want to keep. Yeah. Everything else, all like that sort of stuff. We need to catch a war of electric types, don't we? We get yeah. the power pack soon. Actually, no, we need to surf there, don't we? Yeah. yeah. So, when's the next time we can get a good water type? Um, I'm trying to think. There's, You can get the good rod after you do the Snorlax sort of event. I mean, you can get Lapras really early on. Oh yeah, we could that, uh, we could do Sylph Co. And snatch Lapras. Get Lapras and then go off and do. We don't actually have to defeat Giovanni there and then. You could just get Lapras and just walk out. Yeah. 
So, yeah, see ya. I mean, maybe that's something to think about. It's a good idea. I mean, oh, no, I might be wrong with that. I think you may have to actually defeat Giovanni. No, 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 no you don't. You yeah, you definitely through. don't. You get near Giovanni, so it's, ah, oh, take this Pokemon, and you just walk out. Yeah. But you don't have to get near Giovanni, you have to go through most of it, so I think. If you but, can't do most of it. Yeah, but then you could always say, right, we're not strong enough yet. We, we probably would be, we'd, we'd be okay, but... Yeah. Giovanni is quite a tricky son of a... Oh, shit! Oh, that's not ideal. Switch! Live. Oh, my God! Switch! Just heal it right now. No, I need switch. I need switch. I need switch. Get him out. Get him out. Get Pekka in. Why oh. Pekka? Why not? Pekka needs a level. And I guess. Does it still get damaged? We almost lost another one. <laughs> By three. I literally sat there and I thought we can take an ember so long as it doesn't get burnt and I didn't say it because I didn't want to jinx it but I think just because I thought it I jinxed it but <sighs> how right, right, level 21 it. Charmander you just have to stop it from evolving does he learn anything good yeah they, they learn everything in a lot of, earlier on I guess I don't think they learn anything at level 21 or anything but like you can get flamethrower at I think it's level 35 or something like silly, it's silly early. Like I wouldn't really call grinding Charmander to thirty-five early. That's yeah. a massive pain in the ass. Yeah. <sighs> the annoying thing is now though he's burnt. We don't have a burn heal. Down. Do we know? No. So Pop Tart, you can go in the back for a bit. As much as I want him out front and getting the levels, and I think we can't really risk it. Let's get Pekka out front. Pekka can deal with it. Oh, we do get an, we do get an encounter here if we want. Oh yeah, on this route. Yeah. Uh, what can we find? I'm not sure. I mean, do rounds. That rings a bell. It might be the case that we get a cocooner and sort of get rid of it, because we don't actually have a cocooner yet. Mm. And I feel like that's something that we can catch here. I mean, we could just pick up Weedle and grind his little tent. We could. Well, not even ten, you can't catch Beedrop, can you? No, so I mean, so maybe... Just just seven. level it up. We could throw them out against a high level Pokemon and swap them back in. Just power level them up. So we can't. So we can never catch the Do you want to quickly see what's on this route? Because I have a feeling there might be a Sand Slash, Sandshrew or something. Uh, I don't think you get Sandshrew in, in Fire Route. Oh, yeah, that's a very good point. I don't think you do. Well, we we'll got, go go out. Yeah, so what got. route is it? It's Route 9. We'll go and heal up. We'll go and get rid of this burn. Yeah. Uh, where's the Wi-Fi? Maybe check on mine. So, Route 9. Route 9. Fire Ash. I Because I have a feeling that Kakuna might be one of the only ones that we can get. I'm going to see if there's any burn heals down here, because that would be... That's a good thing to look for. I mean, it's a shell. <laughs> Well, that's what I'm thinking about. The last one didn't have anything like that, did it? It had everything but burn heals. There yeah, we go. Is. I'm going to get about ten of them, because if they're not very common... We've got the dollar. Yeah, we're not worried about that. Any luck? Oh. No, I'm looking. Oh. So... Might be worth just getting him out and doing that anyway. Uh, no, no, wait. Uh, Fire Red, Rattata, Spiro, Ekans. We've got them. Yeah. We've got all three, so it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a wasted three. Okay. There we are. No. That's a little bit annoying. Because I think now that now that we've done that route where we caught Ekans, we can't actually get Drowsy. I think that's the only place you can get him. Whereas if we knew that we would have we could have left the encounter. Yeah. That's annoying. Oh well. Worst things could happen. So okay. let's just carry on and do a couple more trains before we Route ten end up. one right after this, just before Rock Tunnel. Yeah. Is Spiro, Echins and Voltorb. I mean, I wouldn't be against putting a Voltorb in the squad. Yeah, like, so it's, it's, really it's not yeah. learning explosion. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> but yeah, also, because that gets out of the way for power plants, we can get something else in the power plant. Yeah. 
So what we there? could potentially get a if we're lucky enough, we could eradicate. What did we say about legendaries? Did we say we weren't going to class them as an encounter? I can't remember. We'll have to go back and look. But if that's the case, we could always catch everything until the Zapdos and then catch the Zapdos. I feel like we said legendaries are, are different because yeah, it's legendaries, they're, but because they're separate encounters. Yeah, they're static encounters, aren't they? Mm -hmm. So they're not. They're always there, so they are something different. But then you can get Pikachu, you can get... Electabuzz, quite rare. But Electabuzz is rare, but you can get it. Um, I think the mo Magnemite... I think Magnemite, Magnemite, Magnemite the are the two most common things. Yeah. So we can knock out Voltorb. We can knock out Voltorb, and then there's always the Electrodes we can get rid of. That are the items. So what level does Voltorb evolve into? 30, I think. So you might, be, you might have evolved Electrode by then. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, If we can evolve him... And I, and I like Voltorb, I, 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 I don't dislike Voltorb at all, I think he's a good Pokemon. Mm. And he'd, he'd be a good replacement for maybe, let's have a look, well we'll, we'll look at when we when we get to him. You know, have, have we just picked? <laughs> God damn it. Fuck off. Fuck you, game. <laughs> yeah, we did. We don't have any electric types now, we need electric types. Yeah. Mm. I mean... Pekka is pretty good. Switch Pop Tart out. Switch them. Jading, you can sit in the back. Maybe instead of Jading, like, because who would we put in? Margarine. Like, I feel like Margarine has kind of served her purpose. Yeah. She's, she's always an early game. Okay. Yeah. So Voltor would be quite good for mm. on that front. But let's hopefully get rid of this Caterpie in one guy. <laughs> Stubborn. Son of a bitch. Yeah, Magneton's quite powerful as well, if you want to have that at the end. Yeah, Magneton's good. And Steel Type's always quite nice. Yeah. Right. Resists Lance. Yeah. It does. It resists nearly everything in this gen. I think it resists everything it's not weak against. Aside from water. Yeah, it's neutral to water, but we got electric. But then the electric type will yeah. resist it, so. Right, let's go for a second. Electric power. resists water? <sighs> so it does, you know, does it not? Obviously, it beats it, so either way, it's fine. Hmm. I thought it did. Oh, no mind. Alright, let's get rid of this stubborn weedle. Go away. Fuck you. Fag off. <laughs> and I have a feeling his next one's a metapod. Or a catapy. Oh, Venonat! Do you know, I always forget about Venonat. I love Ven Venomoth, and, but yeah. just always forget that Venonat exists. It's, um, I can't believe it's not Butter. Because <laughs> it does look a lot like Butterfree. It has the antenna, the eyes, and the mouth. Yeah. It, it should have been. And then when you look at Capy, Metapod, and Venomoth, they just, it just looks right. It, yeah. it should have been... Oh, well done, Pop Tart for breaking through, by the way. Must have been how it was originally. Yeah, I feel like they've just checked, they changed it because Butterfree was that sort of. I don't know, I don't, I don't feel like Butterfree would have had the same stats or as, as Venomoth would have done. So. But yeah. Ah, oh, poo. I was going to try and call it, but I wanted to get the item that's up here. I don't actually think there's an item up here now, so. There we are. Oh, God, it's got four. <laughs> Uh, that's a... Kakuna. Kakuna Ratata. Ratata. <laughs> Secret power, I should take this out. Oh, it's paralyzed, but that's fine. I didn't know that I could do that. Yeah, it, it it gets loads of different, like, things depending on the environment. Okay. So if you're on the water, it can surf, it would, like, surf. If you are in grass, you'll get needle arm and you can poison, I think. And then there's one where you can put them to sleep, I think. Think. I'm not 100% certain on that one, but... Right. Come on, Pop-Tart. You can do this. Yeah. Paralyzed. Yeah, fuck you. You scratch again. Done. Yeah, you're dead. <laughs> Finished. Right. <laughs> no, that's nope. not true. Nope. <sighs> I'm, I'm kind of tempted to stay in just super pushing up. Oh, okay, fair enough. Because he's, ta he's taking the hits. He's only yeah. de he's only dealing an eleven at a time. That's annoying. That's very annoying. But manageable. 
long as he hits. There we go. That's long get, as poisoned, get poisoned. Get poisoned. Get poisoned. Go on. Do Reverse it. Reverse psychology. Reverse psychology. That's like the sec only the second time we've ever not been poisoned. And the other time I used reverse psychology. Yeah. Get poisoned on a scratch. There we go. Right. One more, man. Twenty two. And then I think we'll call it. We're good. Ekins. Wow. Get poisoned. Get poisoned. Intimidate. Ugh. Oh. Ugh. I might switch. Determined to drag us out, isn't it? Yeah. No, do you know what? Pop Tart's gonna do it. Levels. Secret power. Yeah, Just finish him off. Finish him off. Got? Do it. Finish him. Done. Go away. Look at Pop Tart proving his worth. Yeah, Pop Tart. There we go. Beautiful. With that, I think we're gonna call it. So, oh, yeah. thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed this episode, please make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe, do all that fun, good stuff. Let us know in the comments who you think is the most disgusting Pokemon. And with that, I think we're going to get up out of here. So, we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.